Yeah, it kind of steers Pulsar, but he's only got one, so we got a little centrifuge tube full of stamens and pollen, and we're going to do our thing and hopefully get some fruits. Knock up some flowers and get some fruits. Jesus Christ, look at that. What a fucking massive... That's insane. And every time his stem breaks off, he just puts it in there and roots it. So this is all the same plant. You got a massive tuber in the ground, to a massive storage mechanism. Okay, so what we're doing, we're just, you're stuffing us in there, you take the pollen grains out, I've probably got hundreds of thousands of pollen grains in there, using a little micro applicator to put pollen grains on each of these stigmas. Now, I'm not going to do every flower, but, uh, you know, that's what, uh, you can do a few, and then once I'm done, I'm going to dump these stamens and anthers out, and uh, snip off some stamens and anthers from this plant, because cacti are obligate outcrossers, all right, and that, of course... That, of course, is important for uh, genetic variability. Genetic variability is to keep the phenotypic variability, which is the one of the key ingredients in evolution and speciation. But, of course, we're not talking about such a broad concept right now. We're just talking about getting flowers to bang. And so, uh, you know, my friend here has only got one of these individuals. I've got a few others. And so we're, we're, we're crossing them because they're not self-fertile. If you're self-fertile... You're not going to have that much uh, that much genetic variability, and your population is not going to be that robust in the face of uh, of environmental stresses. You know, that's that's the problem with, of course, uh, you know, cloning avocados, for instance. You know, or cloning bananas. You get a fungus that attacks that attacks that one banana. It's going to attack them all because they're all genetically identical. They're all the same. They're all clones. This is why you need that uh, genetic variability, nice. So, anyway, let's see. Let's how many? How many?